What's going on, people? We wanted to do another stream following up yesterday's missing trucker from up in mm -hmm. Iowa. Because for anybody, trucker or not, in America, there are 10 states with a, with a very high rate of people that go missing. Mm -hmm. And there's a... So let's let's read those off first and let Hurricane read those off because she sounds better when she speaks. <laughs> so as you can see on the map, uh, the highest is California, followed by Florida and Texas. That's the top three. And then going down to the top 10, Arizona, Washington, New York, Michigan, Oregon, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee. It's important to know, kind of like with this trucker, if you if you know as a trucker, that no matter where you are, you need to be aware of not really, I've read all the comments. Some people are like, well, you should have stopped. You need to be able to stop, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, it's a great, it's a great uh, thing to say. When you're out there driving by yourself, especially a female, if you're by yourself and don't have protection, or even if you have protection, mm -hmm. like she's five foot five, she's got no chance at all to fight off anybody that wants to do harm to her. And, and you know, I know that I'm a, I'm tough. I know that I'm a scrapper. I know that I can get into fights if I want to. <clears throat> However, I'm still five foot five, 125 pounds, and anyone can pick me up and sling me over their shoulders. And I know that, and I'm aware of that. So, you know, even some women that act a little bit tough, I know what I'm capable of just by size and strength. And some of you said, you know, it would call the call 911. Yeah, I agree with that. But everybody else that's on the side of the road should have already called 911, right? They should have. Some of the stories I told, I had to make a decision. Mm -hmm. And I'm very good with my decisions that I made to not stop and help. It's just, a, it's just gotten bizarre. And now with all the influx of immigrants, it's going to get crazier and crazier. These states that, that we're reading off that you see right here on the map right here, mm -hmm. If you live in those states and you're a trucker and you have family out there driving around or whatever it is, you got to be super cautious. You know, in Virginia, along Norfolk, Portsmouth, they have one of the highest rates of people, especially children, go missing on that eastern seaboard. Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia Beach. They don't publicize it. They don't talk about it because all these tourist areas don't publicize their crimes. You'd be surprised what goes on, but you need, we need to be aware, not just truckers, not just my friends, all of you folks out watching this now or later, all of you folks, families, anybody at all that has any business in anything they do, especially at night, especially at night. I know some people break down righteously and they have a flat tire righteously. I get that. I'm just telling you, there's more stories I read about in Virginia Beach or I knew about because one of the guys I did real estate with was a, was an ex police officer, where people would get you know pull over on the side of the road to try and help somebody in need, and then somebody else would pop out of the car and hold them up and take their money, take their phones, take their whatever else, you know, take everything out of their car and leave. And you're standing there on the side of the road blinking, going, "Well, I was just trying to help. I want to be a good Samaritan, but nowadays you have to you have to understand." In my mind. And I think it's easier for police officers. One of the Leos on the on the channel on on last night's video about the uh, the trucker, he said the same thing. He said he goes nowhere without his pew pew. That that'd be his his bang bang, and he understands because most police officers see the worst of the worst of the worst, you know, and they understand how bad people can be. I want to see the good in people, but this this map right here should mm. scare all of you especially if you live in those states. You know, look at the number, look at the, the amount of people that go missing in Cali and put aside the UFO, put aside the missing 411, you know, put aside all of that. If you're aware that people go missing and you're out doing business or you're out driving to and from in those states, you need to be extra, extra careful, extra secure. That's all this stream tonight's about because this is a serious issue and it's going to get worse because we have more people in this country now than ever before that are undocumented and that may be up to nefarious things in addition to all the other people that are already in society up to nefarious things. When you read some of the comments on that trucker video of people that 
one lady said she was at a rest area and a guy walked up to her and asked her a, just a, a very odd question. And she said, well, I'm just, I'm gonna call the police to get you some help because he was asking for help. As soon as she said that, he went back to his vehicle and, he's, and she said somebody sat up in the other, other seat, you know, and she's talking to a guy. So as a female, I'm sure she was feeling a little bit threatened. You just don't know, you don't know. So that's all this stream's about. These are the 10 most dangerous states. Yeah. But if you're in Virginia Beach area, Norfolk, Portsmouth, I'm telling you, high, high, any, anything along coastal waters is a is an area to be concerned about because they'll put you on a boat and take you in a heartbeat. In so addition- you know, Even just looking at the map, you can see there's kind of a pattern where the red is, you know, and it's just, it's prevalent, you know? So that's what the stream's about. These are the 10 most dangerous states for mm -hmm. uh, people disappearing in whatever the situation is. Just be careful out there. Yeah. You guys be good. God bless.